All right, ladies, let's just get right down to it. What's the deal with biking and our lady parts? Let me tell you, if you're starting to bike multiple times a week, this is something that's gonna be really crucial so that not only do you enjoy biking more, but you're not having issues with your lady parts. Uh, the first thing that I've found that work is super helpful is to have a proper bike fit. This is so important, not just for your lady parts. Like we're talking, you want to prevent injury by getting a proper bike fit. You're going to go faster if you get a proper bike fit, but also, you know, if you have a proper bike fit, then you're not going to be putting pressure in areas down in your saddle where you shouldn't be adding extra pressure. Now, if you go and get a proper bike fit by someone who's properly trained, um, then they should also usually offer you the opportunity to try different saddles. This is the second thing. This is super important that you have a saddle that you feel relatively comfortable in, right? I don't expect that you're gonna like want to sit on your bike saddle for six hours, but you should be able to. You should not get be on a saddle where you're like, there's no way that I could sit on this for more than like an hour or so. So I right now, Right now I ride a dash saddle that has a snub nose. This allows me to not only get up onto my pelvis and like be in a better, more aggressive aero position, but I found that this has made it so much more comfortable for me to sit on my bike and not dread having to sit there for like two hours. The third thing that I'd recommend is chamoy cream. So this is what I use. And this cream has saved my lady parts so many times. Like you have no idea. It's, I have the pH balance. Um, that's really important for ladies as well since we've already got some pH things going on down there. It's really important that you have this and put it on for every single ride. Even if it's a 30 minute ride, slather this down there and it'll help make sure that you've got, you're not increasing the friction that you already have. Now, if you get to the point where you know, you've know you already got some saddle sores, um, those can be really uncomfortable. Don't panic. Um, some doctors don't know what those are and that's fine. That's why it's good to have some lady friends to talk about this stuff as well. I'm so grateful for the friends that I have where I could felt comfortable talking about this and I was like, I got something, you know, I have a saddle something and it's really uncomfortable. One of my friends recommended oregano oil and to be honest, I was pretty skeptical um, at first, but I started applying this like two to three times a day to a saddle sore that I already had, and it really shrunk the sore. I was so impressed. I mean, you will smell sort of like a pizza. Um, that's fine, just accept it. It'll burn a little bit when you first put it on too, also fine, but you'll notice that the saddle sore after a couple of days is like almost practically gone, if not at least comfortable enough to ride on again. Um, so these are some things that, you know, they might work for you. Um, I would recommend that you also just find some people to talk to about these things because that's the most important thing. You know, we want women in this sport um, and decreasing that barrier to getting more time on the bike um, is going to be super important. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a DM. Um, I'm happy to help. As always, you can find us on our website down here and you can follow us on Instagram um, and thank you for joining along.